okay, this is a new song for me. This is No Gap. Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, I, I can't use rocking that. Whoa. This reminds me a little bit of different. I think it can be it, it can fit like an opening like an opening song, like an anime song maybe. <laughs> Whoa. It sounds so happy. Well, Akane is rocking those drums. Whoa! That little run with Mesa. I really like the sound of the kick drum. Wow, pretty cool variation. That is Gachi. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I was not expecting that. <laughs> that sounded a little bit like a glockenspiel. It's called that instrument. Well, I really like when they do this kind of thing when they are just doing fields with triplets like do 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 sounded really good This one is called No Gap Whoa, those drums! Whoa! Nice! It felt really nice how the album is moving forward. I mean, this is like a perfect continuation for Warning. Yeah, <laughs> really cool song. I think... Well, uh, what do you think? I mean... For these kind of streams, uh, well, I'm thinking not pausing any part of the video. I mean, normally in the reactions I pause during some part or some section before some section to say any comment. But I think for this kind of reactions with the live stream, 
Well, I prefer to not pause the song or say everything that I have on my mind at the end. Or what do you think? Do you want me to pause it or, or not? I think like this is okay because it's a different format. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, because some people think it's a little bit annoying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think there is going to be a lot of things across this album. So maybe there is good so to do some passing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. And actually, to be honest, well, I follow people like Tank the Tech and Charles... What is his name? Uh, Charles Carnson. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this, his name. But they are good reactors and they do really good comments between the pauses. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I think it will be better to listen to the other songs on Spotify. I think they have a little better quality. Chase! Chase! <laughs> yeah. Not Charles. Chase. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, well, let's say what I really like about this song, the second one, No God. I think basically Akane was rocking that one. <laughs> I think she was like the main character for that one. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that, that will be the, the good part of it. I really like the contrast between the intro and the verses that sounded a little bit aggressive and the chorus was so happy. So it, it was a really nice contrast between the two of them. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I think I liked more Warning, but this, this was another really good song for a second song on, a, on an album. I was planning to do it right now, <laughs> to be honest. Oh yeah, they have a live of official video. Okay. Yeah. What, what, what do you mean, Glenner? Like, it will be great for a, for another reaction or to do it right now? It, do you want me to do it right now or later? Like, for a separate... Okay, yeah, let's go. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to do like one or two pauses across the song. So... I can organize my ideas. <laughs> but yeah, let's go. going to upload it, don't worry. Okay. I really like the the leak that Kanami is doing before the Karus. It's so outside, it's a little outside the key of the song. So, yeah. <laughs> it's it's like it's like keeping you away from the song, but the groove is so intense or so strong that it's keeping you in the same song. So, yeah. <laughs> hey, Kikan! Today, I'm going in English. Tomorrow in Spanish. Que cano, hoy lo voy a hacer en inglés, mañana va a ser en español, en Invisible. Okay. But yeah, I, I mean, that leak before the first chorus is amazing. It's an amazing little arrangement that is amazing. <laughs> And, well, in the mix of this live, it sounds a little bit different. I think because there is a lot of activity going on with the kick drum on the bass, you can think that everything is a little bit like bassy or how would be the best way to describe it? Like it's charged in the low frequencies of the mix a lot because of that high activity, but that is not bad. That is like a, 
like a quality of that song. But yeah, they sound they sound so similar to the album. And one thing that I really like is that Psyche's voice is almost the same live. So that is great. Okay, let's keep going. Let me go back a little bit and yeah. Yeah, between the bass and the drums, there is a that lick. <laughs> You can count. I really like the parts where she's doing a little slap. It's amazing. That part. Amazing club. Before going into that part, because <laughs> I know it's amazing. I think, yeah, basically the contrast between the chorus and the verse is that the verse is charged with a lot of things going on between the bass and the drums, mostly with the kick drum and the toms. So Akane is filling a lot of the space of the song. And the cool thing is that what Miku and Kanami are playing is just complementing or completing that sound. So yeah, I like that a lot. And during the chorus, there is now a lot of activity as it was before. And yeah, you can notice that the difference is right there. Because the 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 kind of melody that Psyche is singing is somehow similar. So yeah, that that is like the big difference between those. But yeah, you know, during this song, Akane and Misa are like the stars of it. <laughs> Let's hear the last part. Some kind of some kind of chromatic things. Again, that slap. How they are doing that? Do they do they have like? Yeah, they must have like some synths. Like they are they are playing with a backing track, right? Yeah, backing track. That nah, yeah. <laughs> They do the the feel that I loved, the para pa para pa pam. Yeah, the drummer is amazing. Oh. 
This kind of riff really sounds like an opening intro, <laughs> like the opening of an anime. Wow, amazing stuff. Let's do this thing. Um, let's hear the other songs that doesn't have that don't have MV on Spotify and the other ones we are going to play on YouTube. So the next one is called Afterlife. And uh, I remember that I heard Afterlife in the live stream that I saw. Um Oh yeah, <laughs> just just do it. It helps a lot. I mean, if you are just going to listen to English stuff and you're learning, it helps a lot. If you are just going to do that thing, the instrumental, or which one? Oh, okay. Okay, let me save that one. Yeah, I will save it for later. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, um, I remember that I heard Afterlife during the live stream that I saw, the first one. And it was amazing. Uh, it, it's a ballad, right? Yeah. But yeah, let, let's do it. I, I don't remember the song, so it will be some kind of like the first time. Yeah. <laughs> the same thing with Black Hole. I remember that Black Hole has this really high paced, high speed tempo. <laughs> but yeah, let's go with Afterlife. Oh, about us. About us. No God, Giovanni, Afterlife. Not about us. Okay. My bad. <laughs> Okay, let's go with Afterlife. Then I think the one that I remember is about us. Yeah, sorry. Wow! <laughs> I don't remember this one. <laughs> What is going on in the video? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember this one. I really like the second voice that Miku is doing. Okay, yeah, I don't remember this one. Yeah, guitar sounds like 2000 punk to me. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I remember the name, but yeah, I don't, I don't remember the song, to be honest. Well, this one sounds a little bit different from... No gap. I mean, they are keeping the same energy. I, I, I don't know the, if they are going to keep the same energy across the whole album. Because, well, the next one is Manners. And Manners is, has this really high energy amount. So, yeah. I, I don't know how they are going to sound after Manners. Maybe this is like a really energetic album. Um, yeah, this will be like the sound of the album in general. But what I can notice on this one is that this Cutus has like this somehow like party style, like party in a rock way. So it, it doesn't sound as happy as the one of No Gap. That it was... Don't get me wrong, it, it will be some some kind of... The melody was sounding a little bit like childish, but not in a bad way. But yeah, it sounds a little bit different. And what I like about this one is... Um, on this one, Miku and Saiki's voice sound really good together during the chorus. I know they always do, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, basically... I cannot avoid to pay attention to this part of the song. There is a video of Afterlife with just the vocals. Whoa, okay. Whoa, yeah, I, I want to check it out. 
Let's keep going. Akane is doing a lot of amazing drum fields. And a really good drum feel. I think if this is the normal version, but I'm going to listen to the instrumental songs. This is like the normal version, I think. Whoa, amazing drum, amazing bass, I mean. Whoa! <laughs> What they are doing, they, <laughs> they are like breaking everything on that room. Okay. And now they are dancing, so I, I, I was not expecting that for that end of the video. Whoa! Is there anything else going to happen? Okay, nothing. <laughs> okay. There is also the song Yelled on the Limited Edition one. What can I say about this one? I think No Gav had a little more energy during the intro and the verse, but mostly because of the aggressive amount of rhythm that the drums had. So, uh, yeah, like, like I was saying, Akane was shining during that song, and Misa as well. But... Um, during this one, actually, there was there there was more guitar work during this one, during Afterlife, because they had these really cool riffs, and they didn't have some crazy transitions like other songs. But yeah, no, God is Misa's song. Okay, yeah, M M Misa was shining on that song as well. I really like the slap during that part. Okay, mm, well, since Manners is the next one, let's go, let's, let's play Manners. This one is my favorite bandmate song until now. I love this song. Danny, check out this song. I know you're there. <laughs>
really like this part of the song where they are like dropping the energy a little bit, but yeah. Oh, right now I'm, I'm using Bias Effects. It's a plugin. I just have my guitar to the interface. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I love that song. Okay, let's read some comments. Okay, how this album is Misa. <laughs> okay, it seems like Misa is shining across the whole album. When the interviewer asked the five water favorites from the album were Misa No God. Okay, so Misa's favorite song is her song. <laughs> HDK intro, a kind of black hole. Kanami Afterlife. Afterlife is really cool. Psyche Warning. Miku. Oh. No one save matters. Manners. <laughs> Manners is amazing. <coughs> I'm sorry. It's not COVID. <laughs> so what do you think if I change to Spotify for the other songs? Do you mind or? I think they sound a little bit better right there. Yeah, let, let's go. I'm just trying to do like one or two pauses. So it's not going to be so long, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me share the Spotify screen with you. Okay, she doesn't need to play second fiddle. <laughs> Her song might be my third favorite. Misa surprised me. It's really hard to shine in a metal band. I think they are more like hard rock to me. But the thing is that the line between hard rock and metal, it's a little bit thin. They played a lot of the song in the recent live concert. Okay. Yeah, I think they are, they probably are rehearsing. So they are doing to do, well, they are going to do the, the world tour. Yeah, for example, Alter Bridge, that is one of my favorite bands. For me, is hard rock, but they have some really, they have some songs that they sound a lot like metal. Okay, let's go with the next one. This is called I Still Seek Revenge. I think th the bad thing is that I heard the May one. I think I was playing, do you know, a game that is called Heroes of the Storm. It's a MOBA, so <laughs> I was playing that and I was listening to that 
to that live stream. And I said to myself, well, let's hear the live stream again and let's pay attention to the video and everything. But yeah, basically, uh, I heard the live stream you know, as background music. So yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to a lot of things. Yeah, this is probably their most overall heaviest album. Okay, they blend genres all over the place. I didn't get the notification. <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe, I, I think Twitch is more reliable than YouTube with notifications. Oh, oh Mikoto, thank you for following the channel. Thank you. Okay, we have 25 viewers. Let's keep going. This is the the fifth song. So yeah, let's go. No more talking. Let's go. Whoa. Hot that bass. Morning X. Just in time, don't worry. We are on the fifth song. Whoa! This one sounds heavy. This one is so groovy. Whoa. I love that during some part of the chorus, there was even a guitar playing funk, <laughs> some funky riffs. I think, well, I'm guessing that was Kanami. But yeah, I mean, this song is so groovy. The, th the cool thing is that Manners is groovy as hell, and they are just continuing with that same line, and just they just threw a... Uh, Really cool groove, groovy song for the next one. Whoa, I'm liking this one a lot. Okay, let me go back a little bit and you can hear the, the guitar that is playing funk. This part. Pay attention to this part. It's so funky. Whoa, dude, that variation. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I have to hear that part again. I'm sorry. <laughs> This sounds a little bit, it can be like a Red Hot Chili Peppers group. And... Whoa! Misa is so on fire, dude! <laughs> Whoa! I'm sorry. <laughs> I I need a little breathe. <laughs> I need to breathe a little bit. I was not expecting that song to be like that. Then I just love groove so much. <laughs> Heartbeats per minute. <laughs> yeah, the vocals are great on this one. I, I like the chorus a lot. Well, but. This this groove that Misa is playing, it will be like the main riff is amazing. 
I, I think I'm, I'm discovering my favorite bandmate song. <laughs> but yeah, then two songs later, I'm going to do the, I'm going to say the same thing. <laughs> well, Ortiz. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sir, well, as Sergi say, Sergi is from Colombia. And, well, exactly from, from Bogota, my city. And here in Bogota, here, uh, well, we have like a music store that is called Ortizo. And yeah, that is one of the famous ones. So yeah, that is why he said that. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I just need a, a little break, but yeah, let's keep going. Whoa, that got... It sounds a lot like metal. Whoa, dude, that guitar solo. Crap, that ending and whoa, everything. Whoa, the mates were on fire in this song. <laughs> yeah, Kanami solo was amazing. It was amazing as hell. Um, yeah, I'm getting the point that you were saying before that this is Misa's album. Misa is shining on every song. And... Akane is on fire as well. Yeah. Well, I think this part that was the the beginning of the second verse, that might be one of my favorite bandmate variations ever. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah. Let's hear this and we keep with this, this one. I know they are like simple cuts, like one of the simple ones, like just doing tan tan. Yeah, actually, tan tan. Yeah, it's, it's not a complex rhythmic figure, but they do it in an amazing way. And obviously, Misa is on the background playing that amazing feel. But yeah, well, okay. Oh, uh, how do you pronounce that? Like Nils? Thank you for following the channel. Okay. <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I wish I had a beer right now. <laughs> it will be really cool to have some beers while listening to the uh, this album. Um. Okay. The next one is HGK. Do you know what HGK means? Like, is it for something or? HGK is a bomb. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you want me to Google it? Or it's saying a uh, racing team. <laughs> I mean, I Google HGK and the first result is HGK racing team. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is not saying anything. Let's just hear the song. <laughs> Russian bomb. Okay. Yeah, it sounds cool. It's a name that generates some kind of curiosity for the listener. Okay, well, let's do it. I'm having a really good time with you here listening this album, listening to this album. But yeah, let's keep going. This is HGK.
that start can now be just started with everything. Well, uh, actually, this one is sounding a little bit more complex than the other ones. I I really like the vocal layer that it, that was like whoa, whoa, that it was sounding on the background while Psyche was singing. But also, uh, well, while while Psyche was singing, Akane was doing some kind of odd things. There were some parts that there was like a solid groove. But suddenly she was just playing some notes that were in between the groove. So yeah, th there were some off notes on it. Yeah. Yeah, actually this is this sounds really complex. And at the beginning, they, they were doing a musical cut between well the bass, the guitars and the and the drums that sounded a little bit complex. Well. Yeah, I, I want to hear that again from the beginning, I'm sorry. Yeah, look at that! This one. drums during the first verse sounded a lot complex to me. Well, it sounded complex to me. What? That little stuff. That main brief is really, sounds really difficult. That variation is amazing. What? Whoa, that is nasty. <laughs> I, I I mean, the, there were some parts that. Well, Akane was just blasting everything with the double kick drum. And, well, at the same time, Kanami was playing like. It's amazing. And I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it, it feels really complex. And if you notice, before the first chorus and before this chorus, Kanami is playing a little lick that sounds complex as well. Um. Thank you, Joshi. <laughs> Whoa, really? I mean, do you mean the, the leak that is played before the chorus is Miku? Whoa, nice. Yeah, I mean, this part. This, this part. I think that is... That is Kanami. This one, the Nice start of the solo. And they 
do they sing with the kick drum? Where everything is... Whoa. Whoa. What happened right there? It was like a... Like an effect on the voice, I think. Let me... Yeah! <laughs> the sound of the universe on Rainbow. <laughs> well, well uh, we are just at the middle of the album. That was the sixth song well yeah you were right that one sounded really complex the the thing is that it was amazing how they were putting together some layers of different things at the same time uh, actually during the first verse there was a layer of voices while psyche was singing and during the second verse there was a layer of a guitar playing a lead part while psyche was singing so it's amazing how they basically just transform those ideas and yeah they they just turn it into something really different and everything that they do works amazingly <laughs> so yeah amazing stuff and i'm going to listen a lot well i'm going to hear a lot this album during the next weeks <laughs> um I'm sorry, do you mind if I go to the bathroom like for two minutes? It's not going to, to, to take so long, <laughs> but yeah, I really have to pee. <laughs> yeah, give me one second, please. It's just the water doing its effect. So yeah, let's do a pee break. What was the song that was the pee break? On set, right? You told me that on set at the beginning was... The, the name was like Psyche's P Break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. L let's do it. Okay. Let's keep going. We have the second half of the album. So the next song is called. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to pronounce this part. <laughs> Sa Sayonakidori. Sa Sayonakidori. I think it's like that. <laughs> Sajo Nakidori. Is like that or? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. So uh, Falcon was saying that Falcon was saying that Miku is going to be singing lead on this album, on this song. So I want to hear that. Let's go. Yeah. It's a different tone of voice. It has a different color. It's beautiful! Whoa. Actually, this is funny because... <laughs> I will say it later. Whoa! I can again! Can is being the MVP, you're right. Paul, thank you for following the channel. Okay. Yeah, uh, what, do you think, well, uh, I was going to say that <laughs> what I found a little bit funny uh, during some part, well, before the first verse, was that the drums were playing a, a little group that was dun, kit, kin, dun, kit, kin. I think it's, it's a little bit funny because that is like a, the rhythm of a musical genre that I hate, 
that is called reggaeton. <laughs> that is like the it's like the it's like the biggest musical genre in Latin music. So yeah. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Paul. You are you are just in the right time. We are starting like the second half of the of the album. So yeah. Yeah, so reggaeton basically has this rhythm that is tun kit kin tun kit kin but is tun kit tun kin tun kit tun kin. I think that rhythm is called dembo and it's from the Caribbean. But yeah, it, it was funny. But actually th there are some metal and rock bands that use that like that rhythm in the like that rhythmic pattern in different songs. For example, there is a song that is called Closure by Opet. They use that rhythm and it sounds a little bit Arabic with them. Or for example, um, System of a Down does that, does that with Jet Pilot. I think it's the song. So yeah. But yeah, uh, if we talk about Miku's voice, it's so sweet. I like it a lot. There is a lot of falsetto in this one. Harder to sing live because of that. Uh, I actually um, during this during the part that I heard that was like the highest part. To me, it was sounding a little bit like mixed voice, like the the combination between head voice and and chest voice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let's keep going. But the the beginning of the first verse was amazing. Akane was shining again. <laughs> Let's keep going. Hey, not so gallo. That note was high. Yeah, that part. That note. Yeah, that note is high. Yeah, <laughs> it's the same rhythmic pattern, but faster. <laughs> Okay, I like that filter. It's really cool the drums behind it. Whoa! Nice! They changed the time signature right there. Whoa, I have to hear that part again. Yeah, please change it. <laughs> but yeah, n now, uh, now that I hear, oh, uh, now that I've heard the chorus, I get your point, Mikoto. Um, yeah, that part that, is, that was... That note, well, an octave higher is really high to sing, even for a, for a, for a woman. That that will be easier for a woman, but it it's a it's a high note, yeah, overall. But yeah, they changed the time signature. Let me check that part again. And also, th this is the first part that I'm uh, well hearing a variation like that, where they are using some kind like a filter on the drums and the boys. So yeah, it's it's different. It's great. So yeah. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Yeah, they change it. That part, 
that, that part before that second chorus sounded like metal. <laughs> it sounded really aggressive. Again, this part is so happy. Maybe I, I think Miku is playing this part, right? But it has dual guitar. Yeah, Kanami and Miku are playing the same thing. Those cuts, didn't, didn't. Whoa! Let me hear that part again. Kanami was doing some really complex stuff during the cutus. She was just like, yeah, she was just playing some notes that Psyche was singing, like giving some order of importance on them. But yeah. Hello, Tavo. Uh, today's stream is in English. Tomorrow is going to be in Spanish. So, yeah. <laughs> hummingbird. Oh, yeah. Uh, I know what the hummingbird is. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Nightingale. Okay. I haven't heard the, the name of that bird. I can't eat some fire during that, this part. This part. amazing i mean there was a point that there was a climax with miku singing a high note with a lot of power and then kanami was just shredding along well <laughs> yeah kanami was shredding along with it and amazing thing amazing stuff yeah that outro was amazing wow okay so the next song is called uh, why 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 they had so much fun with this song. Yeah, I think based on what I heard on this song and based on my experience, um, well, as a part of a band, of a rock band, I think this song must be uh, must be really fun to play. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, let's hear Nightingale. I don't know which bird is a nightingale. I think I have to use my friend Google. <laughs> oh, is that one? Okay. To be honest, I, I I don't even know how is the name of that bird in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I have to be honest. 
Why, why, why? The vocals towards the end. Psyche. Psyche is an amazing singer. She's like, well, you don't normally hear like some really high notes or vocal really high. I forgot the word. Uh, uh, I have it in my mind. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, sometimes you you don't hear like really high skilled vocal things from Psyche, but the thing is that I think uh, Psyche is like Mario on the video games. Like she's really balanced, and she's like that all the time. And if you pick Mario on the video games, that is really good because you know that you are going for the safe spot and you are going to always be good with it and she's really good life yeah yeah so consistent uh, that is why she's like mario uh, on that aspect or like luigi if you play those video games <laughs> okay four albums so far on one but hopefully i might have one into the merch psyche is more stronger in mid toned in vocals equal act yeah yeah the, uh, that will be like the main point why she's so consistent. Because yeah, you're you're right. I, I think the the best part of the register for her is like the mid tone. It's not like really high notes or really no low notes. She sounds so good during that register. For example, I'm a tenor and my best notes are the highest ones, I think. But yeah, she really shines right there, so she doesn't have to sing high notes all the time to impress everyone. She just sounds so good all the time, and that is great. Okay, uh, let's keep going with why, why, why. Okay, a little bit chill. It's not chill. <laughs> Oh, some wah, some wah pedal. Wow, this is so groovy, dude. What was that? <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to hear that part again and there was one part that yeah I think the same thing I, I, I don't know who said it maybe it was Mikoto <laughs> that Akane was the MVP or say that it was Misa but uh, Akane is just killing it on this album She's doing amazing stuff. There was one groove, I think, during the chorus that was a little bit complex in the drum kick pattern. So yeah, well, and the, the variation on the second verse or the next section was really cool. The mix between like the groove between the bass and the drums and the wah being played by Kanami. Yeah. And yeah, the, 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 the melody of this chorus is, is really cool. The, the ending of that phrase during the chorus was, was really cool. <laughs> okay. This 
this drum group. Those drum rolls, well, those snake snare drum rolls. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, don't worry, X. We are here. That is really cool. That is like a beautiful soul. It's so melodical. Nice. Yeah, it was amazing. I know at the end was amazing. It was filled with a lot of power. Well, yeah. Avril Eleven is Danny. <laughs> her name is Daniela, if you want to speak with her. <laughs> Kenneth said she spent a lot of time practicing her food the meltdowns during the pandemic. Yeah, you, you can notice that Kenneth does a lot of really amazing stuff during the whole album i mean she's throwing some really crazy patterns just changing maybe the kick drum or just doing some really high paced fields like really fast fields and they sound like really exact she's like a freaking metronome and for example you, you can hear that yeah du during the live during the live performances of those songs Duvi, el, el, el stream de hoy lo estoy haciendo en inglés, mañana va a ser en español. Yeah, today's stream is in English, uh, tomorrow is going to be in Spanish. And to think that Kanami wants to go faster, Herman Lee. <laughs> oh yeah, Slate Live, the last concert. Uh, yeah, that, that was my bad because I, I didn't pay so much attention to that. <laughs> so yeah. I regret that because, well, I, I wanted to hear the whole concert, like paying a lot of attention to it. And when I wanted to do it, I discovered that it like the link was the link was dead. So it, it was not longer available. Yeah, it's going to be uh, every Saturday and every Sunday. Saturday is going to be in English and Sunday in Spanish. And yeah, basically I'm reacting to albums completely. Why, why, why and Honkai. Do you know why Honkai has like the normal spelling like in English, but in YouTube it appears in Japanese, like in 
in Japanese writing. I, I don't know. It was a little bit curious. I was a bit neutral on YYY until the last concert. Oh, okay. It makes sense. Yeah. I think I'm yelling out. I'm yelling a little bit. <laughs> but uh, I'm excited. I, I cannot avoid it. Okay, let's keep going. The next song is called Chemical Reaction. Chemical Reaction was inspired by a riff Misa created and asked Kanami to write a song with it. Okay, so... Oh, okay. So, basically, the, the, the main riff was created by Misa and then Kanami developed the whole song, right? It's cool. Honkai means truly broken. Broken. Oh, that's great, Joshi. So, yeah, th don't worry. We are going to be every Saturday right here. Nice groove on chemical reaction. Okay. Oh, hello, Jim. Uh, I'm glad you can you could make it. Um, well, we are on the ninth song, so we just have four songs left. This is chemical reaction. Let's go. Nice start with that filter. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> groovy. I love this kind of songs. You're right, Yoshi. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, the main riff is... It reminded me a little bit of something else. Have you uh, have you ever played one game that is called Pokemon XD? That was for the Nintendo GameCube. Have you played that game? Th there was one song during the soundtrack that was a little bit similar. Uh, let me let me search that song for you. And yeah, I just want <laughs> to show you something. Um, dun dun dun. What was that part? I have to... Yeah. It, it, it reminded me uh, a lot of this part. It was the thing that um, when you were uh, well doing a Pokemon battle against a guy that was called Mirror B. So yeah, this is the theme of that. So... But yeah, it, it, it just reminded me like tooting, to tooting, to tin, to tune. And I, I think it's similar. It's far tooting, to tooting. Yeah, it reminded me a little bit of it. Yeah, it's the main theme, like the main melody. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that cut was amazing, I have to repeat that again. 
So yeah, I'm going to do it. This part, this unison. Okay, Akan is just preparing everything and then. And I think Kanami was playing like with an. I think that is called like an octave pedal, something like that. Yeah, there is the cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> the interaction between the guitar solo and the rhythmic part was amazing. Nice. I was not I'm I was not expecting this part. Let me play that again. This was so unexpected. This part. This space. It's amazing, it's like letting the sun breathe a little bit so it can return with a lot of energy, like a punch. The cowboy. <laughs> That, that little feedback at the end was like the cherry at the top of the cake. <laughs> it was great. Wow. Yeah, you were right. Chemical reaction was amazing. So let me tell you quickly right now, which are my favorites of this album. Of course, I love Manners. I really love Manners. Uh, I loved I Still Seek Revenge. Groovy as hell. Amazing stuff. No Gap had this really cool groovy pattern or aggressive rhythmic pattern between the bass and the drums. Afterlife had a really cool guitar riff and really cool guitar parts. HGK was complex and amazing, like the work of the band together. It was really cool. Uh, <laughs> let me check if, if I'm able to pronounce it again uh, well. Sayo Naki Dori was really cool. Well, obviously because of Miku singing. Um, it has some really different things from the other songs. So it was really cool. It, it had this variation where they just put a filter on the voice and the drums. So it was great. Why, why, why was amazing as well. I really liked the chorus of, of that one. And Chemical Reaction was groovy. Amazing stuff. The next three are fast songs. Speeding back up to close out. Okay, seat belt. I think I'm not ready. <laughs> do you want the missing songs? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. I, I mean, after we are done with the these ones, we can listen to the other ones. Okay, I think I'm not ready. I was hoping I, I, I had some rum. It will be cool, like a shot of tequila or rum. Something like that. <laughs> okay. The next one is called Giovanni. I've heard a lot the name of that song in the comments of the bandmate reactions. Okay, let's go. This is Giovanni. It 
it started really heavy. Wow, those bases. Those drum fields. Yeah, actually, she's playing a similar pattern to another song. Let me think about it. So what is right? Whoa. Amazing variation. A can is on fire. And Miss as well. is fast it has a high tempo okay <laughs> i have to say something um i really like how psyche's voice complements so well with kanami's guitar i mean she's playing a lot of notes like i i think she's playing like something obviously it's not going to be the same <laughs> I, I think it's the kind of riff where she, she's just playing like like with an open string between the notes, right? Uh, obviously, I'm, I, 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 well, I, I don't know the riff, but yeah, it sounded something like that to me. Like the, it will be like the soul of daydreaming. Like they have like that. Um, I was thinking about what was the song. Um, like, it was like Freedom, I think. No, it was not Freedom. I forgot the name of it. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I will watch the instrumental, but yeah. This song has so many great things. Whoa. I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> what? Yeah, you're right. The, the guitar solo is a little bit low in the mix. So dark and so bright at the same time. Yeah, you're right. And the background vocals. Wow. 
Well, that was great. Uh, yeah, uh, I think there was a song where Kanami, Kanami is doing some kind of similar thing in the chorus. I have like I, I have that like in at the <laughs> tip of my of my thumb. I think it's it's on the one on puzzle. It can uh, well basically Kanami is playing like a lead part while Psyche is singing the the vocal part. And she's doing something similar right here in Giovanni. I, I have to hear that part. If not, I'm not going to be. Yeah, it's a puzzle. Yeah, on puzzle, she, she, she does something really similar. As the same kind of thing that she did here. But uh, obviously Giovanni has like a, <laughs> a faster tempo. It, it's like a really fast tempo. So yeah. Puzzle is great. Yeah, it's, it's one of my favorites. Well, but yeah, Giovanni's so much faster. Actually, is is the kind of song that if if you are going to play that live, normally uh, I don't know if you have played in a band before, but <laughs> there are some parts that the drummer just accelerates everything. Oh, hello, bye, cabeza. Thank you for follow, following the channel. But yeah, the, 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 there is one part that if the drummer is just playing faster than it is, then Everything is just really messy. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I hope Akane is not that kind of drummer. And based on what I've seen, Akane is not that kind of drummer. But yeah, Giovanni, Giovanni has a lot of things. I think Giovanni and HGK are the kind of songs that you have to hear a lot. So you can just, well, basically digest all the musical stuff that they are well transmitting you because they, they, they have a lot of musical information so you don't know in, if some parts you have to pay attention to the bass or the drums or the vocals or the guitars and they are just doing like really cool things with the musical layers so yeah it takes a couple of listens to do it okay let's keep going with Honkai I hope it's pronounced like that. <laughs> uh, hon it's Honkai or Honkai? I don't know. But yeah, let's go. Whoa. <laughs> Dude. The interaction between the bass and the guitars. That riff is amazing. It reminds me a little bit of the riff of Freedom. That is one of my favorite ones. It has some blues flavor on it. That bass. Whoa. I really like this part where they as you they are just like giving open chords like tune tune and just letting Akane feel everything with her awesome skills like tune 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 and meanwhile Psyche is just singing on top of it like really normal <laughs> yeah that kind of arrangements is well that kind of arrangements are great. Yeah.
I have to hear that part again. Sorry. That part where the bass, the drums, and the guitar and the vocals were doing the same thing, that unison was amazing. <laughs> Let me hear that part again. <laughs> I'm sorry. And the solo is like half time of that. Whoa. That little detail. It's of that. And it was panned. It felt amazing. <laughs> This part. This part is beautiful. Yeah. And the main riff again. Whoa. And they did seem well. They they do they did again the same thing like the but just panning the guitar tum 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 it was a nice ending because of that well I really like this song it was amazing and the the beginning after all the mess or after all the amazing rhythmic stuff that happened across all the song was sounding so sweet. So it was a really good contrast. Yeah. Okay. Let's do the last one. I think Black Hole is like the fastest one, right? Oh, yeah. I, I have the links. Like, yeah, I have the links right here. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Let's go with Black Hole. <laughs> I'm sweating a little bit. <laughs> Like listening to this music and head banging and just moving. It's like you were just doing a little bit of exercise or working out. <laughs> yeah, 220 BPM is fast as hell. <laughs> okay, seat belts. Let's go. Giovanni was really fast as well. Hard beats per minute. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. This is Black Hole. This is the Tawani called the Black Hole, you know? This is some crazy fast stuff. The drums are crazy. Whoa. 
didn't remember this song to be honest. Those drum pulls are really hard to do. <laughs> be good. <laughs> that half time feel was amazing right there. not ready <laughs> yeah um i'm going to save a lot of these songs for my workout routines uh i bet they are going to be really good to working out <laughs> well okay so let's take a look at your links so do you want me to hear them in in that in that order i mean the first one is without holding back then youth then No God instrumental version, Giovanni, and Afterlife. Okay, yeah, let's do it in that order. Give me one moment. <laughs> I have to take a break a little bit. Yeah, it, it, it will be really good if I have, if I had like a glass of wine <laughs> to chill out the instrumental versions. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. It was like the like the beverage of my lunch. Okay, so let's start with the other songs. I got it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. This one is groovy. If I make the screen bigger, then yeah, I I'm not going to be able to watch any of your comments, but don't worry, I'm going to read them after this. <laughs> they are having so much fun, that is great. Actually, you can notice that in Kanami's face. <laughs> She, she's so happy. <laughs> Miku right there as well. Uh, 
Oh, sorry, my internet. <laughs> it feels a little bit like a jam session. Whoa. <laughs> that sound is amazing. Whoa! That unison. And Misai just going like a rock star. <laughs> Radioactive button. Radioactic active. <laughs> well, this is the song that they jammed with Herman Lee. Uh, yeah, uh, actually, I was checking that live stream, but <laughs> I was just checking the part of the interview, and that I, I I got like a like a Zoom call with my friends. Uh, yeah, we, we were just having some beers over that Zoom call, so. I missed that part of the live stream. Yeah. But yeah, Kan Kanami was really sweet on during that live stream. Okay, that's why she's always eating. <laughs> Ten bowls of ramen. Do you like ramen? I I, I love ramen. I, I don't know if that is the same way that they make ramen there in Japan. But I I've tried some really good ramen. Yeah. I've tried ramen with pork and with chicken and also with beef. Yeah. No gas. So yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, they, they have a video. So do you want me to go full screen again and then read all your comments? Or do you want me to read all the comments while I'm listening to the song? Let me know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, then... Yeah, then... Um, yeah, I'm just going to go full screen and if I have any comment, I'm just going to go like the normal screen again and yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just asking this because there are some people that are like really picky on this kind of stuff. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, let's go. This is the instrumental version of No God, the one with crazy... Um, bass and drum work. Confession time, and only invited Mikado to this stream. <laughs> uh, I think <laughs> that sounded a little bit mean. <laughs> Don't see picky people here today. Any bandmate is good bandmate. Yeah, you're right. That I think when when you think about like different fandoms or different bands, I think the Bandmate fans are really like easygoing people. Well, based on my perspective. So yeah, you're pretty cool. 
because yeah, I, I, I don't know. There are some groups of other fandoms that they are really picky and yeah, I don't know. They they are a little bit annoying. <laughs> the one with crazy bass and drum work. Yeah, basically. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's do it. This is No God, the instrumental version. Radioactive bottom. Let's go. I really like how the cameras are focused on Kanami's, well, on Akane's feet. So you can see all the crazy stuff that she's doing on the drums. And I love the mix of the kick drum. It sounds so clear. That part, that scale, that it's a little bit off of the key. And the part that is so happy. <laughs> I can hear Psyche in my head singing. Here you can notice that Psyche is the perfect complement for all the mates to be their singer. looks so relaxed while well, she's playing that whole thing. <laughs> I'm happy again. <laughs> Beginning of the soul. Nice. Let's go, Misa. Uh, I really like what the backing track is doing right there. Part of the guitar sounded a lot with pause, with the effect. The song can end during that part, during that stop, but they just go with the main riff again. <laughs> yeah, it's like a faint. <laughs> okay, I, I think my best friend is watching this live stream. <laughs> Domination instrumental. I was looking for youth. Looks like someone closed Ninja's second channel. For Unfortunately, <laughs> looks like it's gone. Remember that he's called Ivan. <laughs> okay, so the next one is Giovanni. 
If I'm honest with you right now, I think I preferred the mix on this one, on the instrumental part, because, well, you can, you can understand a lot more what I can explain. And I think for me, well, from my perspective, the mix sound a little bit muddy on the low frequencies. So there are some parts at the beginning that, yeah, the low frequencies sound a little bit muddy between what the bass and the double kick drum is doing. And on this in, during this instrumental part, you can hear a lot more clearer the whole thing. So yeah, it's great. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, this is um, Giovanni. The instrumentals were made for fans to learn how to play the songs. Yeah, that, that makes sense. But I have like one question pops up to my mind, <laughs> into my mind. And that is that if the mix is better for this one, wh why is not like the official mix like that? Yeah, it's a little bit fun to think about that. So a, a little bit funny. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I think I, <laughs> I have some pressure in my head to do that manners, uh, well, arrangement because I, I want to do it really well and I want, and I want it to be amazing. Maybe, maybe Falcon. Yeah. It has some sense. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they are giving like some, some highlights to the vocals. Okay. Um, Let's go. This is Giovanni. I love that beginning. some open strings but it's a really high like a really fast tempo I love that one. Uh, actually, right there, Misa is playing like a little bass solo and is, is fighting against the drums a little bit. <laughs> yeah, let me hear that part again. At the beginning, yeah, he's fighting with the drums group. This part sounds so epic. Here it comes, Kanami Soul. Yeah. 
This is one of my favorite parts. fingers look like she's relaxed and she has a really good technique it's amazing Yeah, yeah, Falcon. You, uh, yeah, you were right. This instrumental part, like, makes me appreciate a lot more the song. What is happening? Well, no. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's read the comments. Oh, it's Sunday morning chill for me. Oh, nice, X. I think I've, I love Misa. <laughs> yeah, D Danny likes a lot bass. So yeah, uh, radioactive mode coming. Take the take your time. I want to be re reincarnated as their instruments. Feel their touch, groovy and awesomeness. I I, I don't know <laughs> if 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 I can take that comment like like on a romantic side or like on a sexual side. <laughs> I, I I don't know. <laughs> like her. Green PRS and her latest great Angry Larry. I bet she composed while, while drinking coffee with her fake cup. Okay. There is one thing that, well, I don't like so much, and that is coffee. <laughs> and I know a lot of people that love coffee, but yeah. Yeah, a, a lot of people that they cannot live without coffee. Okay, so... Uh, Let's do the last one. The last one is the instrumental version of Afterlife. Afterlife was great. It had like a like a really cool guitar riff. No, I, I think I'm more from the land of beer. <laughs> I love beer a lot. Or chocolate. I, I love chocolate. <laughs> or or pasta. I'm, I'm crazy about Italian food. I think I, I love black beer. This one, like it, it, it tastes a little bit more rough. Like the the flavor is uh, a little bit more complex. I, I love that one. Okay, let's do this last one. This is Afterlife. Give me just one second, please. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Co Colombia is known f for the coffee. But <laughs> yeah, th that is like uh, that. It's a little bit ironic because uh, I don't like a lot of things that Colombian people like a lot. Mister B reacted to youth. Do you want me to watch that video, or if you want, I can do it. <laughs> I am a maniac. Hello, uh, right. see old fella back. <clears throat> well, I think you can see who it is. I've been playing again up here off you'll see what i mean and uh there we go okay let's hear it <laughs> let's go yeah in the bottom right hand side it says who it is who's 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 put this up um so thank you very much for that i just hope they don't mind me uh doing a reaction to it because uh if if they don't like it then they can uh say you know don't like it take it down or whatever so, is he but, from england I mean, or i'm taking a bit of a a bit of a chance here to do this but i'm, I'm gonna do it anyway because it's band made anyway enough for me yeah uh, rabbiting on let's get these on okay yeah right right now basically i'm reacting and to mr b reacting TikTok. to <laughs> youth from bandmate
Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> part of the chorus, it felt amazing and the riff is, it has some kind of bluesy vibe again yeah you're right it has some kind of summer but okay can I be it feels like you were like chilling out on a beach <laughs> Feels great. This part. Whoa. Yeah, um, basically, <laughs> well, with with that fan made video, it ends with the summer going on. <laughs> Yeah, sitting on the beach, listening to this song while drinking cold beers. Hello, Mark TP and 876. Thank you for following my channel. Okay. Um. So yeah, I, I think I'm going to upload this whole thing to YouTube. I don't think I'm going to upload the instrumental versions. Well, the, this video is going to be so long. <laughs> But yeah, I, I think it's going to worth for the people that was not able to come here today. Yeah, I would love some tequila or some rum. It will be good. Okay, what were your thoughts on the album? Yeah, I, I was going to talk about that. Uh, I think it's a pretty solid album. To be honest, uh, there, there are some songs that I have to hear a lot more. Yeah, there are some songs that I have to hear more to basically digest them because they have a lot of musical information. Um, songs like Giovanni or uh, Honkai or HGK, they have a lot of musical information. Um, well, I really like that they, well, the, the album was pretty consistent in the sound overall. Like, it has some really groovy parts, 
with some catchy choruses and it, they they even had some really heavy parts for example uh, the beginning of Giovanni is one of the heaviest parts that I've heard on a bandmate song so yeah and if you if we are talking about uh, let's do a, uh, like a top five this is going to be hard because I really like all the songs I really liked all the songs okay um so uh, uh, my fur my my favorite one is between <laughs> manners I still seek revenge and Honkai I think I really liked those three a lot but <laughs> this is really hard oh uh, okay uh, let's do it yolo um it will be like this um okay uh I think it will be in fifth foot in fifth place in fifth place chemical reaction fourth place Giovanni third place um HGK second place manners and first place I still seek revenge I think that will be my top five yeah <laughs> Uh, but Yonkai, Yonkai, I forgot Yonkai. <laughs> Crap. Oh, uh, so let let's replace uh, let's replace Chemical Reaction with Honkai, and Chemical Reaction will be the sixth one. But Chemical Reaction and Honkai will be like tied. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really hard. <laughs> yeah, I think I I will hear this album a lot, like while I'm working out or when I'm doing other stuff so yeah in fifth place seven so <laughs> yeah and um, but but yeah the top three will be HGK I still seek revenge and manners uh, no I mean HGK manners and I still seek revenge I love that one but yeah um what what do you think about the the album that I I'm going to listen for the next week. I, I think I, I don't want to hear another bandmate album completely for now <laughs> because I want to do some reactions of them. Well, basically, I, I, I just did <laughs> like, yeah, 12, 10 reactions of new songs on this one. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, I have to hear Band Michael. Yeah, it will be good. And well, uh, another thing is that I don't know if you have seen that video. I know Falcon did. <laughs> um, what What do you think about the analysis of Daydreaming? If you haven't seen that analysis, let me put you the link right here. This is a new section on the channel. And it, it was really fun to do it. Yeah, uh, this is the link to the analysis. If you want to check it out. Um, well, I, I just did the analysis of Daydreaming because it's a song that I liked a lot but I, I don't know if maybe some of you want another analysis of that, that style for another song which one would you like? let me know <laughs> this will be like a quick poll on, on this chat oh Puzzle will be Puzzle will be great Puzzle will be great to analyze or I'm thinking uh Oh, don't worry, Yoshi. But yeah, um, I think for Puzzle will be great, I think. For for the next Saturday, I think I'm going to listen to the second album of um of The Warning. That is a concept album. So I think it will be good. Oh, do you do you have some links for that band score? It 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 will be good to have them. For daydreaming, uh, I I just did everything by ear and just well, uh, basically, uh, how is the word for that? Uh, basically, transcribed everything to musical notation. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Falcon. Thank you for joining me, and it was great. I had a lot of fun. Have a good night. Oh, hello, Marcos. Oh yeah, choke, choke is a great song. Yeah. Yeah, actually, he, here is really late. Here is 11, al almost midnight, basically. 
So uh, I, I think I'm just going to end this stream and I'm going to edit it. Uh, this is hard to pronounce. <laughs> I'm going to edit, edit it <laughs> and I'm going to uh, upload it on YouTube tomorrow. Oh yeah, you, you told me, but basically you are 12 hours from here. <laughs> yeah, Joshi, if, if you want, uh, we can hang out next Saturday. And yeah, I think I'm going to listen to that album, to the second album of The Warning. I think it will be really good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you can join. Yeah, it, it was a, a, a really nice time. And yeah, I, I, I'm going to do this one. Well, this is these streams every week. So uh, I think we will have more and more people after every stream. So yeah. Oh, oh by the way, um, I'm going to release my Patreon tomorrow. So if, if you are curious about it, you can check it out. It's really cheap <laughs> and you can have some things for the reactions and the videos that are blocked on YouTube. So, yeah. But, yeah, I, I think that will be all for today. <laughs> it was a nice journey. Uh, at the end of the album, I was like... <laughs> I was a little bit overwhelmed. I think it will be the, the word. But, yeah. It was great. But, yeah, uh, I also want to hear the, the last Gojira album. I want to hear that album as well. I hope they, they are not going to block this video on YouTube and everything will be okay. I think that will be all for today. This stream was a little bit long. <laughs> I mean, it has been like three hours and a half. So, yeah. But it was amazing. It was amazing. Thank you so much for coming and yeah. Basically, uh, I'm feeling great about the new things on the channel and... I think it's going on a great path. So I just I just have to follow that path and I think it will be good. I'm really happy with the channel. So yeah, thank you everyone for coming. Check the video of the analysis if you haven't heard it or check or watch it. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, that will be all for today. So have a good day if it's during the day for you. And have a good night <laughs> if it's really late for you, like here. Yep. <laughs> Stay safe.